Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is an OpenTX video. I'm building up my OpenTX library um, to be able to help people with OpenTX. So this one is a, a non-radio specific video for setting up your trainer, when you, trainer uh, buddy box system uh, when you use a, to, a cable to connect your two radios, a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, cable to join them. So let's switch over to the computer and have a look at the settings in Companion. Now the first one we're going to look at is the instructor uh, aeroplane. So this aeroplane will be set up exactly, you would fly it, you would take it off and fly it, trim it, do everything you need to do and then, then you would add this to it. So if we go to the setup page, you can see all we have to do is go down to the trainer port. Now I will show you this on the radios as well. Uh, we have to select master jack. And then, with nothing in flight modes, nothing in inputs, nothing in mixes, and nothing in outputs, curves, switches, but in special functions, we are going to need to set this up. Now, the first uh, special function number one, I've put this on the momentary switch, so I would have to pull the switch and hold it on for the uh, student to be able to fly the aeroplane. So you can see on SF1, we've got the switch uh, H coming forward, the momentary switch, We've ch chosen the action is trainer sticks, and then we have to activate it by clicking this box. You can see we can click it on and off. Then what I've done is added some sound, so I know this is uh, it's activated. So we've got uh, special function two is my SH switch uh, back, and it's play track, and the track is trainer on. And then the um, special function three is the switch forward and it's play track and that is trainer off. Now that's all we need to do on the instructor's, instructor's radio. Now what I'd like to just show you is we are going to go back to the instructor radio and we're going to edit the radio settings. And I just want to go straight to the trainer section. So this will be easy to show you here on, uh, in Companion. And you can see the choices we have for the channels are replace, off, or, uh, or sum, plus. So in other words, the off, the student wouldn't have control of the rudder. And if we choose plus equals which is the sum total. So you both have control of it. I'm not quite sure why you would do that, but both sticks will work, both the instructor and the student. And then the next one we've got is replace, which is the one I would use, that when you pull your momentary switch back and the student can fly the aeroplane, they will have full control of it. And you will just, if they get into trouble, you just release the button and you take a control. Now let's take a look at the student radio. Now let's switch back to OpenTX. And you can see I've got the student radio open. Now, all you need to do is set up a basic model. You don't even need, need to go through the wizard. You can start the wizard and then return out and it will set up a basic model. Then all you need to do is go to the setup page of the model and change the trainer mode to slave jack. And that is it. There is nothing else you need to do in the student's radio. Now let's discuss the channel mapping. What you must make sure is your channel mapping is the same. So with your student radio and your instructor's radio, they must be both AET or RETA, depending on where your radio is set up. Now there is a way to overcome that if that is not the case. And you would need to then go, we need to go back to the instructor's radio. And let me show you in companion rather than doing this on the radio. Right, if we go to the radio settings and we go to the trainer, you can see on this instructor's radio, I've changed the channel mapping because it's not in the order one, two, three, four. So this channel mapping is R-E-T-A. So I needed to change it because the uh, TX-12 is set up to A-E-T-R. So all you need to do is change the source so it matches. So all you do is wiggle the sticks on the radio and make sure the correct uh, control surface moves. We can also use here the multiplier. Now, if we, when we are using the radio, we see that we're not getting full range, we can change this multiplier to uh, get the correct movements, uh, the correct uh, amount of throw on the radio. Now, I've not had to use this because basically it's there every time I set this up. Right, now let's switch over and have a look at this on the radios. Welcome to OpenTX. Trainer off. 
Right, let me first show you how to stop that from happening when it said trainer off. Um, if we move across to the sounds, you can see I forgot on the off to change this to exclamation mark one. That means when it turns on, it won't give that warning again. So it's just something that I didn't do in companion. So let's return. Come back out again. Turn off. Welcome to OpenTX. There we go. No warning. So, right. Now, let's go take a look at the model settings. So we're going to go into the model. And we're going to go down. And you can see. So this is the normal setup aeroplane that you've flown and trimmed out. If we go to the bottom, oops a daisy, too fast. There we go, we, we must make sure the trainer mode is set up to master jack. Uh, now let's move on. So nothing in flight modes, nothing in mixes or inputs. Uh, next thing we need to look at is the special functions, as you can see here. Special function one is the switch forward. Trainer on. Means the trainer, now the student would have control of the aeroplane. Trainer off. Uh, so you can see that's the switch H in the back position, trainer sticks, and then select that option to be on. So I would assume if you are you know, flying and you're not going to do training, you could actually turn that off so you don't accidentally flick that switch. But I mean, it would be unusual to do that. Then we've got special function two, which is gives place to track when the switch is in the forward position. So the trainer, trainer on, on. and trainer then off. special function three is the switch in the uh, normal position. And it's, uh, it tells you that the training mode is turned off. And that is it. That's everything we need to do. Now, if we go to the system button and we go across, we can take a look at our settings, which I already showed you. And as I said, when we looked at companion, I've changed the channel mapping in here because the channel map mapping in this radio is AETA. -A, and then the other one, it's, a, it's in the TX12, it's a -R, sorry, A E T R. Now let's bring in the other radio. Let me just return out of this. Okay, now we grab the TX12, the other radio. And put it there, turn it on. So this is our student Welcome radio. OpenTX. And we've just set up a basic model. We're just going to go across and have a look at the model settings. And all we needed to do in here is change the trainer mode to slave jack. You also note we don't need to have the internal module on when we're doing this. So now let's connect up both of the radios. I'm just going to return out of this, bring us back to there. Let me plug the, uh, the student radio. Now let's plug the two radios together. Trainer signal recovered. Okay. Um, now let's let's check check this out. So all we need to do is hit the model button. Hit the, sorry, hit the model button and then hit the model button again. Now you can see our throttle and ailerons, elevator and rudder. So if we now go and switch, trainer on. you'll see now the throttle, channel three, ailerons, channel four, elevator, channel two and rudder channel one. You can see that's working. And if I let go, trainer. Off. And there we go, that's it demonstrated on the radios. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully you found it useful. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Now, the next uh, OpenTX video I'm doing is going to be using, uh, do, setting this up again, but in a far more complex way where I wanted the um, instructor to have full throw of the aeroplane. So all the control surface would go to full throw. But when you switched over to the student, the rates would automatically drop. So we'll, get, we'll see that in the next video that I produce for OpenTX.
Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.